Today I am very excited to be working with the Dots and Spots die. I first saw this in the catalog and thought this was going to be a fabulous die, but then I did a card or two and then I really didn't do much else with it. So I decided to get it out and play with it and come up with some other ways to use this die, some things that maybe you didn't think about doing with the die, and I have some really fun cards to show you. Uh, this is one of my samples that I have made. And I'm gonna recreate this card, but I'm gonna do it in another color scheme. So I just wanna welcome you to my channel. My name is Karen Slowinski. I live in Akron, Ohio, and I am going to begin showing you lots of fun things with the Dots and Spots die. So the Dots and Spots die is a large die. Here, I'll flip it over. And I love polka dots, so when I saw it, I just had to get it. So the obvious thing to do is make a polka dot background and add it to a card front. So this is what I did in here and I popped it up and it's just a very simple card. It's very elegant. Um, the white on white is beautiful. So I have chosen to make this and I'm going to do it in very vanilla. So to do this card, I am using the nature's prints and I'm using the best wishes from there. And I'm also using forever fern and the coordinating dies that go with that. These are the Forever Flourishing dies. So I'm going to use this one. And we are going to start with our element. So I have my card base and I've already folded that. So I'm just going to give that a crease. I'm going to set that aside. I also have an envelope and a card front cover, I guess, if you will. Um, this is a typical layer that you would add. It's a four by five and a quarter of very vanilla. And this is what we are going to use the die with. And then I have another piece of very vanilla. This is about three by four and a half or so. Um, it's enough so that I could stamp my image on there and then I'll cut that out and then, oh, I better get that die as well. And then um, cut out just another element of leaves. So we can start with our stamping and we are going to stamp this image and I have chosen to do this one in cherry cobbler. I thought it was a very nice uh, fall type color. So this other one that I made was more of a spring and this one, make sure I got a good image of ink, is more of a fall coloring. So I'm going to stamp that right here. Okay. And I am going to so take this, I'm going to cut this out, and I'm going to cut this out at my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. Now, for the polka dots on here, what I like to do, especially if I want something to be positioned um, in a particular spot, so this one I am just trying to center it on the die. And you can see I've got just a little bit of a dot here and a little bit dot there. So I'm just going to hold that in place. And then I'm going to take just a tiny little piece of uh, low tack tape. And I am going to stick this down just to hold it in place. Oh, I need to move that over just a little bit. Just to hold that. So when I turn it over and run it through the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, it's going to hold it in place. So let me go do that and I will be right back. All right, so I am back. So there are my two leafy elements. Let me just poke that out. No, oh, it doesn't want to come out. There. Okay. And as you can see that a lot of the dots have fallen out, um, but not all of them. So I'm just gonna use my uh, take your pick tool and I'm just gonna poke out the rest of those. And it'll only take a moment. And I would like to welcome, I have a bunch of new subscribers, so I'm so glad that you joined me in my channel. And I hope that if you like this video, that you will give me a thumbs up and you'll share it with your friends and subscribe. And then if you do hit that bell notification, you will find out when my next video is released. So there we have our panel. And I have a little bit of a mess. I'm just gonna tuck those into my garbage can. So now we have our pieces. Um, we do also need a piece, a small piece of very vanilla. This is for our sentiment. 
and I'm going to choose to use the best wishes and happy thoughts. You could then use this to be a birthday card, a congratulations card, a wedding card. So if I make it a little bit more generic, then we can just use it for any occasion. So I'm going to stamp that right there. All right. Close up my ink. Now we are ready to assemble. So I'm going to take my card front and we are going to add this. Now you could pop this up with dimensionals, but I have chosen to use our foam adhesive strips. And you may not have noticed these in the catalog, but they are a very convenient thing to have. They are a little bit thicker than our dimensionals. So this gives us a little bit of an extra lift. So I'm going to take this and I'm just gonna stick it between my rows of dots. And then I'm gonna take another strip and I'm gonna position this one a little bit further away. And I'll cut that off. And you just wanna go between your dots. So I'm kind of going every other one. And then this little piece I will put down here. And then we're gonna add one more, maybe two more strips. So we're gonna do one here. Yeah, definitely two more. And then there. And then if you wanted to, you could do just a little bit at the corners just to make sure that they don't sag. So I'm just gonna put a little piece there. And then a little one here. And this last one I'm gonna put here. And then this other piece I'm just gonna put right back on um, the release paper and use that for another project. So then we just peel off the backing. It's just like a dimensional where it's got adhesive on both sides. And we'll peel those all off. And oh, that last one did not want to come off. So everything is ready to adhere. So we are going to just center that right over. So this is the standard size layer that you would normally put on. And I'm just gonna hover over and press that down. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and just with adhesive, I'm gonna add my sentiment. So I'm just gonna get a little adhesive here. And I'm gonna put that Near the bottom, I don't want to cover up all my dot. So I'm kind of putting it between the rows of my dots. And I'm lining that up with the edge of this. And then all we have to do is stick down our flower elements, or flower, these are leaf elements. Okay, so you just kind of want to figure out where you want to have them. And I think what I want to do on this one is cut off the stem so it doesn't um, stick out that way. I've got a little bit more flexibility. So I usually just play around with how I want this to look. So I kind of want this one at an angle and this one's gonna go there, um, maybe up a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue um, to this so that this will stick down. Okay, and then the other one I am going to use my mini dimensionals so there it's going to go right there give that a press and then i am going to add some mini dimensionals to this okay i'm going to add one up here and oh, that one got a little bit off all right, somebody just rang my doorbell. I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna be right back. All right, I'm sorry for the interruption. So I have my mini dimensionals on here and I'm gonna peel off those. And then the 
it's going to go just like that. So then what I thought would be a really pretty addition um, is a bow um, with this one. And actually, I think I want this to go a little bit higher because of the bow now that I look at that. So I am just going to carefully lift this off. Or try to anyway. Okay. Lift this up. There we go. Nope. I left the dimensional behind. All right. We are going to just put that right back on there. I'm going to add a little bit more glue to my other one. Okay. And I'm going to move that just a little bit higher there. So I am using this gold ribbon. Isn't this lovely? It's got a really pretty shimmer. You're going to probably need about 10 inches or so. And so we are just going to tie a bow. And get that about the right size. And then I'm going to trim this here. Probably a little bit less here. Oh, come on. And we're going to add that. So I'm just going to grab a glue dot. And here we go. So I'm going to put that up there. And there um, you have the card. So it's a whole different look when you do it with the very vanilla. Um, but I think it's really pretty. On the white card, I had done it with this really pretty, uh, this is a soft sea foam ribbon and it's a sheer ribbon. So I did two layers of that one and I thought that went really pretty with the granny apple green. Um, but here it is in more of a fall palette. So let me know which one of these do you like better? And then just to show you how I finished this one, I stamped some more of those flowers or I keep wanting to call them flowers, these leaves on the inside and the same thing, I just stamped a few of them on my envelope. So now I want to show you some other ideas. All right, we have, this next one is really, really cute. So the polka dots look great with black and white. So here I paired the Sweet Cherries bundle and I used some of this beautiful black and white um, gingham type ribbon. And I love this. You've seen this in some of my other videos. I think it's so cute. And I made Rainier cherries. If you don't know Rainier cherries, they are so good. They come from the Pacific Northwest and they are this um, golden with little hints of red to them. And they're a delicious cherry. And they're usually available only for maybe a month or so in, in the summertime, but I love them. So here is my birthday card um, for uh, a sweet friend of mine and the Rainier Cherry. So there is that card. So I loved pairing it with the black behind it. It really makes it very sharp. Then my next card is also with black. So on this one, I paired a piece of paper, a white paper that was just a little bit bigger than my black dot. And then I colored it with my blends and I just chose a rainbow of colors and I just colored it in diagonals across that. And then when I put my black piece on it, I left that little bit of border around it. I thought that was very, very pretty. And then a simple silhouette. This happens to be from the uh, Meadow Dyes. And then I used one of the Charming Sentiments um, from that bundle and I did that embossed in white. So again, it's a very simple card, but it is very sharp. Um, the contrast between the colored and if you didn't want to do your blends you could do this with colored pencils you could even do it with watercolor paper you could do it with some of our um, designer series paper so that's how i uh, finished off that card i kind of kept the rainbow effect uh, with the words that went with it and put another die and then i did use a retired die uh, excuse me, re retired embossing folder that had the polka dots because I just thought it went so perfectly with that. So my next sample is using the Plentiful Plants. So here I have my um, very simple card. Again, I have my layer that I popped up and then I just put a strip 
of the polka dots on here. So it just gives it a nice little grounding spot. Um, I cut out my leaves in my pot and I have this really pretty um, thank you card here. And there is the envelope for this one. So that's just by using a strip of the dots. Now this next one is a little bit more fun. This is using the Party Puffins. And I cut a panel, did the dots in the white, and then I glued that down to my card. And this time I used our Pearlized Effects Basics. So this is a new product that came out in our July through December mini catalog. And then I just colored, I dropped the, or I dropped, I placed um, these little enamel, um, I guess liquid, if you will, onto the dots. So I covered up the dots with the enamel. Now it does say that this is black, but it's not really black. It's kind of a, a grayish silverish, as silverish as you can see, and it does take a long time to dry. And so I do want to caution you when you're working with this, make sure you have a, a place where you can set it aside and nothing will touch it until it's completely dry. Added a few more of the dots on my little party puffins hat. And this is using the basic border dies and I have a very cute birthday card here. Then my next one is super cute. This is done and I took a piece of vellum and I cut that out using the die. And so now I made a stencil with this. So I placed the stencil on my piece of paper and then I used one of my blending brushes, okay? And I just went over it and I just did a very light coating in this. Um, I think I did this one in the Rich Razzleberry and I was using a combination of the Rich Razzleberry and the Blackberry Bliss to make this card. And this is another new stamp set. This is called um, a little cheesy because they're all kind of puns. So I had a hand cut out the little um, wine glass and I added some Wink of Stella on it. And let me hold it up so you can see that a little bit better. See if you can see the sparkles. And then for this vellum, I just cleaned it off with a little bit of water and it dried okay so I could use this again. And for this card, I just put a little bit of the polka dots on the inside. So that was a really fun card. And there was the envelope for that. And then my last sample, this one is, I think, the funniest one. This is using the Penguin Place bundle. So I made a little shaker card. And all those little white things that I cut out for so many of my um, samples, I used it to make a shaker. So I've got my little um, penguin sitting inside. And how I did uh, this is I used some of our Stylish Shapes dies and I cut about four or five of them and stacked them up. Then I put on my window sheet here and then one final layer on top of that. And then behind it, I just cut another square. Um, I used some of the little hills in there to put a background to him and used my blending brush to add a little bit of sky. And then I just put all those little bits that were all over after cutting out my other dies. So this is a really cute, um, card for a friend using some of the scraps that you would throw away. So those are my cards today. I hope you have really liked them. Um, once again, my name is Karen Slowinski. I have details of these on my blog, which is the power of a card blogspot.com. I'll have all the measurements. I will also have links to the product, both in my blog and in the description of this YouTube video. And once again, please share this with other people and um, give me a thumbs up. I really like that very much. Thanks so much. See you next time.